Saturday, October 21st. The calm before the pre rut storm. Uh, a little early right now. I'm taking the dogs to the park. So I'm going to be hunting today. So, got to run some energy out of them. Um, then I'm heading all the way down Farmington Hills for a uh, baby shower. And then Alrighty, done with the baby shower and on my way to the deer woods. Um, do not have the boat behind me, decided to stay local. I don't want to head down there and do all that and just leave the dogs abandoned all day. So I'm heading to the same area where I had that shot opportunity on the doe after finding those two big rubs on that island. Um, so that, that game area just a little bit uh, further away from, from there. So I'm parking in this little parking lot. I scouted near the parking lot and kind of like the first uh, set of hardwoods in the spring. Saw a good amount of deer sign actually. Um, I just hope that it's it's not too much pressure there. So I, I haven't been as deep as where I'm going today. So I don't know, except for some private. So I just cut up that property line work my way through the hardwoods and just follow that swamp transition down um, to northwest wind today so everything will just blow back in off that so that'll be good and then there's this little clump of island or clump of trees out in the in the marsh go for a walk out there we'll see um, it looks really wet uh, a couple creeks to cross so if I'm feeling up for it if I feel like getting wet I'll do it if it looks good but so that's the plan tonight scout my way in and uh, see what I see not necessarily interested in an observation sit, just more so in season scouting. I'm gonna go for a bow hike, an archery hike. Type of shit you see on public land. Huge walking trail that I'm walking down. Oh, good hiding spot there, bud. <laughs> Unbelievable. One thing I'm noticing when you have like these points, or little islands where it's all marsh out through there, you have this. Point and then just kind of marsh that surrounds this area. You know, you get good looking trails like that. Appears to be a deer trail. But then you see trails like this. Uh, I don't think that's a deer trail. I think that's a human trail. So I'm on the very tip of this point. Like the trees are starting to die off. There's some scrub brush and little trees here. And there's all these beds. They're old. I don't see any hair, no poop, nothing like that. Um, there's one over there. So I'm thinking this is all doe bedding in here, but maybe early season or something like that to get some shade, I'm not sure. Um, but at one point there's something big moving through here. That's waist high rub. Um, no fresh buckside now, but like here appears to be another bed or something. A good amount of deer travel through here. It's just no buck sign, no fresh buck sign. I'm at the very edge of this tip um, and I notice that there's these green bushes. I'm like, very guaranteed bedding under here and it is. It's just wide open. Uh, again, a couple tracks but no hair. Uh, no real poop, but I mean, it is just no rubs either, which sucks, but it's just all matted down in here. So, and there's another bush over there. All oh, that's matted. So, I'm pretty sure these are does just circling up around these bushes out here. So now I'm going to head there, walk that edge. That point looks pretty good. So I'm going to check out that point, but if nothing, there's a little island out there I can't really see. And across the creek to get there. On the other side of that edge is uh, all private. Hoping to see some bucks on. There. So there's the edge. I'm gonna walk to the point, but this gives a good overview. It's that point that I just walked. Big old bowl. There is a little tree out there. I'm gonna head straight to that. It's kind of just what I expected. 
Looks to be a little bad right there. Teeny tiny rub. There's no other rubs on these other trees though. Kind of a, a bigger one old there. Uh, but there's a thick trail running right from here. So use this tree as a landmark to come either way, but then circle back to that point that I just came from. Um, I, yeah, they're not using this obviously right now as a bed, but the water's, you know, high. And like, if it's just over my boots, it's really not too deep here. So on a dry year, like last year, I bet this is all dry in here with all this leaf cover especially in the afternoon sun facing west. This all is gonna be shaded. So this would be a good spot on dry years. So this little point is just loaded with white oaks. So many white oaks. There's a good travel through here. Goes down into the swamp a little bit. Good amount of tracks through there. I'm assuming coming up um, to feed. There's a, saw a good amount of poop, but it's all black, so it's old. So I bet when all these oaks were dropping, the spot was dynamite. Um, but past this uh, transition edge here, there's an old ladder stand over there. It looks super rusted, so I don't think anyone's using it. I don't know, I didn't really go up to it, so I'm not gonna hunt here, so I don't really care that much. But I bet you when the oaks were falling, this, this, this would be the spot, this was the spot. So definitely marking this for two years since probably won't have any acorns next year. But yeah, I like it. Decently open. Good amount of big trees that overlook the uh, the marsh. You know, it's the tough part about hunting this way is looking for that fresh sign. So, I mean, there's trails, you know, just littered into this point, but it's like, when were they here? Are they fresh? Are they coming through right now? I don't see any indication of fresh sign. Nothing. No rubs, no scrapes, nada. So October 2nd, that island there is uh, where I saw that big doe, those big rubs and that scrape and everything that was on that island right there. Um, I'm assuming that is all the bedding that they're coming from. Point right there. That's where I'm going to go check out kind of the last ditch effort. A little after five, so I mean, I got two more hours to legal light. I'm not expecting that spot to be good. Could be surprised, but I'll probably just hit that spot, go check it out, do a quick lap, come back and head back to the car. I don't think I'm going to sit tonight. I don't, I mean, I could, but I got to get shit done at home, so it's like, why waste the three hours to sit when I'm not confident and I'm gonna see anything. Big trail, big trail. Down the hands and knees. The trail's going through there. Nice little high spot. It's dry. Trail's coming in and out. I mean, that's the only rub. Old, obviously. You know, it's like, I think they're moving through here. Just literally sit on the ground. I'm on my hands and knees right now. But how, how would I hunt this? Why would I hunt this? It would be cool to drop a camera here. But I don't want to come back and get hit. It's tough. Looking for buck sign, not deer sign. Whole different animal. So there's the train tracks in the distance. I've worked this edge all the way up to this point, then came to this island from here. So, if I take the easy route, go all the way, hit the train tracks, hop on the train tracks and walk out, or that first point that I was on is right there. But I gotta cross two creeks. So hit, go hit, hit to that point, hit that point, and then go to railroad tracks. Here's creek number one. I don't know where the bank is. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not bad. Get a good footing. <laughs> Run down. This is the one I was worried about. 
So right here it looks deep, but there it looks shallow. And there's a stick. I'm gonna aim for that stick. Should I have my phone in my hand? Probably not. Just as I thought. That was a soft bottom. Would it be deer hunting? Is that a good old boot pour? I don't think so. Zero buck sign. I mean, probably five to ten old rubs. Not, not even a fresh rub, no scrapes, nothing. Um, found a lot of deer sign which appeared to be old like there was uh you know, i walked through a bunch of bedding areas i mean just tons of bedding everywhere that i was um i'm assuming it was does because there was no rubs or anything in it but you could tell where it was matted down um but the leaves were still there or the leaves were on top of it there was no hair no poop um I didn't even see fresh poop, I just saw old poop, it was all black. So, that's gonna be marked that for next year for early season. So I got about uh, probably two miles in, carried everything with me. Cause I knew if I was gonna, if I found good sign, I was gonna set up on it. But the priority was scouting, you know? So it's a little after six, hour of hunting, half hour walk back, you know? So I just, Wanted to get home. I got stuff to do at home. I got the dogs there, so yeah. Lady walk in. Terrible spot. So calling it a night early. I think that's the first time I have ever not set up. Normally I just set up and see what I see, and it's usually nothing. But I'm trying to be more strategic on my sits and not waste time and stuff like that.